Now everybody's talking about something. You can hear as the world passes by. Some are talking about their wealth and their mansions. Others talk about their trouble and their strife. I don't know how to talk to a rich man. When compared, I'm a beggar, no doubt. But if you're talking about that old time religion, I know what you're talking about. I like to talk about the time Jesus saved me when my poor soul was sinking down in sin. I like to talk about the times that he helped me through the sunshine, the storm, and the rain. I like to talk about the times of his coming when I see his sweet face, there's no doubt. But if you're talking about that old time religion, well, I know what you're talking about. I like to talk about that old time religion. I can tell you what you're talking about. About the kind that would make you love your pastor. When old Satan would say, kick him out. About the time that would comfort you in sorrow and will never, never fail to make you shout. If you're talking about that old time religion, well, I know what you're talking about. Well, good morning, everybody. It's uh, 1023 here. Missed yesterday. I was busy. We're on the road and doing some other things and I thought I'd give it a break. Anyway, <laughs> uh, good to be good to be on here. At my age, it's good to be anywhere. Well, it's uh, a beautiful day outside. I'm at an undisclosed location, as you can probably tell by the background there. And... Uh, the Bible says, Proverbs chapter 4, it says, uh, Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn it from it, and pass away. For the, that's, uh, you ever watch Karate Kid? You guys that like Hollywood movies? Karate Kid says, uh, best defense, Miyagi would say, best defense, no be there, right? Avoid wickedness and evil men. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18, But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. Well, uh, it's worth it living for God. Not not living for God to be, to be saved. Living God because you're saved. If you have trusted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, then it's worth it to live for God. Because... The path shineth more and more into the perfect day. What is the perfect day? The perfect day is when the Lord comes back and takes us home to be with him. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. There's a storm coming, ladies and gentlemen, friends and neighbors. And uh, it ain't going to be pretty. It's going to be the worst time in human history. So let's give a few highlights of some of the terrible times that there has been uh, down through history. Uh, Number one is Noah's Flood. By the way, if you're interested in astronomy and uh, the sun and the earth and the earthquakes and things like that, that are happening with a much more regularity than before and uh, more severe, uh, there's a fellow by the name of, I've forgotten his name. Oh, yes, I've got his book. Hang on, I got his book right here. Davidson, there's his, there's his name. This here guy, he's uh, interesting. I'm going to read this book and then I'll do a book report on him, a book review. But uh, Davidson, Ben Davidson is his name. And he does uh, Suspicious Observers and I've got his, his book, I've got a couple of them. And uh, I'm anxious to get reading that thing and it just seems like the day just slips away on me and then another day goes by and I haven't read it. But uh, 
it, it's uh there is a we're due for a, a cataclysm go figure there's another book that talks about that as well and it's the scriptures <laughs> so it's uh, frighteningly close to the scriptures all the things that are happening now well uh let's go back to noah's flood why uh if there were in jack chick's estimation there were uh, 1 billion people on the earth at the time of Noah. 1 billion people, minus 8, of course, that got on the ark died. 1 billion people. That's, that's quite a holocaust, isn't it? Then down through, the, down through the ages, down through history, there's been disasters and there's been uh, uh, resets, you might say. Uh, the fall of Rome. Uh, civilizations have fallen atlantis rumored to be in existence sunk or or collapsed into the sea whatever uh there's talk of antarctica having life at one time being uh, uh more of a tropical place more a little more conducive to to uh life and and uh and all the rest of that well uh down to the history now, in recent history, there's been some uh, massive loss of life, mostly in war. Uh, somebody once said, uh, war is God's judgment on sin here and now. Hell is, is God's judgment on sin hereafter. But uh, in the First World War, I don't have the figure right off the top of my head, but uh, uh, thousands, millions of people died in as a result of World War I. World War II, uh, 50 million or more uh, died as a result of World War II. So up until now, the reigning champion of loss of life would be Noah's flood of a billion people. But I'll bet you can't guess how many will die in the tribulation. Uh, Jesus said there's never been a time since the world began that's coming up. Well, there's 8 billion people on the earth, and uh, we don't have time to go through it now. But according to the scripture, doing the calculation, uh, half of the world's population will die. So that dwarfs even Noah's flood for loss of life. 4 billion, with a B, will die in the, in the seven years that are coming up soon. 4 billion people will die. That's four times the amount that died estimated in noah's flood then that's that's not counting the battle of armageddon the battle of armageddon is going to be a bloodbath as well in the valley of megiddo over there near jerusalem so that's what's coming folks and uh the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more into the perfect day uh you want <laughs> you want to get on the right side of things you want to trust jesus christ as your personal savior uh, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Your only way to God is through Jesus Christ, believing that he died for your sins, was buried, and rose again the third day. No works involved, no baptism, no religion, no Ten Commandments, no cleaning up, no stopping this or starting this, or church attendance or communion or whatever it is you want to put on top of that. Forget it. You come to God as a sinner. Uh, just as the song says, just as I am, without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me. Well, come to God that way, and he will save you. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. All right, good to talk to you. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you later.